Good morning and welcome to Monday. It's time for our motivation. So I join you with my cup of coffee and my quote. So what is the image today? The focus is on, you can see it, it's a panda. And what is the panda eating? Bamboo. So bamboo is an interesting plant. It's actually the fastest growing plant in the world. In just 24 hours, it can actually grow up to three feet and it reaches a height, um, its maximum height in only about three to five years. So bamboo are really interesting. But what does the bamboo have to do with us in this class? So let me share the quote with you. The quote says, the bamboo that bends is stronger than the oak that resists. Ah, fantastic quote. So when we talk about the bamboo, it's really a symbol of longevity, of strength, of endurance, of resilience, of flexibility. Because when a storm comes, the bamboo bends with the storm. And when the storm passes, of course, then the tree, the bamboo, can resume its natural upright position. And this is really inspiring because it means that the ability to cope with adversity, to cope with kinds of obstacles or challenges challenges that are put in our way, and yet that we still can remain standing and have solid ground. It's just an amazing process, and we're no different from the bamboo. We can also grow and change through adversity. So when, we, when it comes to our life, uh, people that are the most successful, actually one of the traits that they have is that they're adaptable, that they're flexible, that they're resilient, that they bounce back from adversity or challenges or obstacles. And we can think of it in terms of so many different areas of our life, you know. Academically, we can say, you know, a teacher uh, teaches to a different teaching style than your learning style and you have to adapt. We can say that it's a teacher that, you know, usually you're used to lecture and instructor-centered uh, teaching, but the teacher that you have now is more about debate and discussions and round table, so it's way more student-centered and you have to adapt. Or you have a professor that's challenging you on a new project about service learning and volunteerism, and you're not used to doing that in a typical college class. In all of those cases, adapting is going to actually not only have greater learning and growth and experiences, but you're gonna get the GPA you want and graduate and so forth. We can look at it in terms of work, professionalism. Sometimes, you know, once you get your knowledge and skill sets, you're not done. We're always professionally developing ourselves. Things change in the world, so you have to develop new skill sets, for example, technology in the work place. And um, it's also not only in, in work and school, but it's also in social uh, aspects. So in our world today, things change very rapidly. Um, there are economic, political, social changes in the world, and we have to adapt to what's happening in the world community as well as in our local community. And finally, of course, there are personal um, adaptations that we should be encouraged to make. Um, and just one simple example would be in a relationship. You might have a romantic partner, for example, whether you get married or not, romantic uh, involvement. And if you're always just rigid on your rules and what you see, then probably that relationship isn't gonna work out the best because relationships are about working together, bending, compromising, being flexible as a team. So we can see all these areas of our life where it's really important to be like the bamboo and yet we still resist and so we need to start learning to embrace that change is a normal part of everything it's a part of school it's a part of work it's a part of relationships and we need to embrace that you know it's going to be hard it's going to be difficult but we're still going to come out standing strong just like the bamboo so my challenge to you all is to embrace this and to focus on the growth and development. This week alone, the next time you hear yourself saying, I can't, think about that statement. And I want you to really think, are you say, are you, can you really not physically and mentally do it? Or are you just making an excuse because you're refusing to adapt and to change? We're all capable of pretty much anything that we set our mind to. If, if we put enough hard work and time and energy into something, all of us can do anything that we want. But if you already set yourself up saying, I can't, you're already defeated, you've already failed. So the next time you see, hear yourself saying, I can't, I want you to change it and say, no, I'm really saying I don't wanna do it because I don't wanna change. And right then stop yourself and do one thing to embrace that new whatever it is so you can experience growth and development, which is what life is about. With that positive message in mind, 
Have a beautiful Monday morning. Have a great week.